A Viking ship has been discovered undisturbed on a remote Scottish peninsula. It's lain there in peace for a thousand years, the burial site of a chieftain entombed with some of his most precious possessions. A team of archaeologists found the chieftain's shield and sword preserved intact beneath a mound on the Ardnamurchan Peninsula, along with dozens of iron and timber fragments, all dating back to the 10th century. Well, joining me now from Manchester is the co-director of the project, Dr Hannah Cobb. Dr Hannah Cobb, how much exactly did you find intact? Well, we found the whole boat burial intact. So originally what would have happened was the community who would have buried this Viking would have dug a, a hole, a grave, the shape of a boat that was uh, about five metres long. Then they would have dragged the boat up onto the foreshore and, and, and put it into the grave. And then they would have buried the Viking in it. They would have laid the Viking and all of his possessions. And then they filled it up with stones. And that's almost exactly what we found. We found the stones. The, a lot of the wood wasn't preserved, um, but we found the stones and as we excavated down we found the artifacts as well so it and was quite, us, a, quite a lot. Well tell us about the moment of discovery I mean how exciting a find is this? Oh, it's, a, it's an incredibly exciting find. It's very rare to find a Viking boat burial. We really weren't expecting it, so it was, it was something that we almost didn't want to believe. But as we, as we carried on excavating and finding the artefacts, we, we had to accept that that's exactly what we had. But it's the first intact boat burial from the UK mainland, so the, the rarity really sort of made us think it might not be that, but that's exactly what it was. And what about the possessions that you found surrounding the chieftain? What did that tell us about him and where he travelled? Well, it tells us that he was a very high status uh, uh, Viking. He had he was buried with his shield on his chest. Uh, potentially, uh, we found the the shield boss in a position that would have probably have been on his chest, and that would have had a shield surrounding it, a wooden shield, but that wasn't preserved. Um, and then we found various other things, a sword and an axe. But we also found a, a, a bronze ring pin, which was about this size. It would have been either held it holding his cloak in life or holding his uh, shroud in, in death. And that came from and, Ireland. And just, and just briefly, what do you now intend to do with this discovery? We're hoping to get all of the finds, well, we will be getting all of the finds analysed and uh, we'll be finding out a lot more about how he lived as well as how he died. Dr Hannah Cobb, thank you very much. Thank well, you. Channel 4 News continues on our website at channel4.com forward slash news, where our fact-check team caught the Prime Minister playing fast and loose with some job figures. He claimed half a million private sector jobs had been created since the election. Find out why he was wrong, just go to channel4.com forward slash fact-check. A reminder of tonight's main news, Essex police say they've cleared the protesters barricading the entrance to the illegal traveller site at Dale Farm near Basildon, paving the way for bailiffs to move in tomorrow. 23 people were arrested after clashes broke out between protesters and officers and uh, two people were tasered. We're back tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Until then, from Cathy and from me, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening.